नमस्कार टूडेज टॉपिक इज लुब्रिकेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लुब्रिकेंट्स एंड देयर फंक्शंस सो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लुब्रिकेंट्स इज एनी सबस्टांस इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बिटवीन टू मूविंग और स्लाइडिंग सर्फेसेस इन ऑर्डर टू रिड्यूस द फ्रिक्शनल रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम इज नोन एज अ लुब्रिकेंट before discussing the lubricant we must know that what is the need to decrease the frictional coefficient between two moving surfaces ya yeah, or between two metals frictional resistance is also generally known as friction friction is the force which resists the motion of two sliding surfaces when the uh, suppose these are two sliding surfaces these are two sliding surfaces these the force which resists the motion of these surface two surfaces is known as friction one of the reason for friction is the surface roughness of a metal the metals which appear to be smooth they are not basically smooth on magnifying these metal surfaces Uh, these may appear slightly rough right this is a uh, magnified metal surfaces only very less metal surfaces which have mirror smooth finish can be completely smooth and they lack roughness but most of the metals otherwise they have rough surface like this as shown in this image now when two metal surfaces they slide past one another a high friction is present between them and when high friction is present between two metal surfaces two phenomena take place the first phenomena is wear and tear second phenomena is frictional heat now the wear and tear phenomena can be explained by a small representative experiment for this i have something for you i have these two chalks with me these are two chalks when i slide these two chalks past one another these two chalks can be considered as two metal surfaces and i am sliding these two chalks past one another with some stress now you will see that some of the parts of chalk have been worn out these are the parts of chalk which have been worn out and these represent the worn out metal surface so the sim similar phenomena takes place in the metals also that when two metals slide past one another the out grooves of the the out grooves of the metal they are when they slide past one another like this chalks the out grooves of the metal they are broken down leading to damage to the metal as well as to the machinery and these worn out parts may get entrapped in between these sliding surfaces and leading to further further damage to the metal the second phenomena which takes place is the frictional heat during motion of two sliding surfaces a considerable amount of heat is evolved which may increase the local temperature and it may melt the metal to form a welded junction so this frictional heat causes a very high temperature it may lead to melting of this metal and this metal may be welded when temperature is slightly decreased so therefore these two phenomena occur simultaneously when two metal surfaces slide past one another and it may lead to damage in the machinery parts therefore almost or every relatively moving part in a system requires a lubricant in order to increase the life of the machine and for its better performance therefore in order to decrease the friction the friction has to be decreased and it can be done by use of lubricants the decrease in friction frictional 
between the two sliding metal surfaces serves many functions in a machine which can be termed as functions of lubricants these are general functions of uh, lubricants the first function of the lubricant is reducing the surface deformation wear and tear also known as abrasion now when a lubricant is introduced when a lubricant is introduced between two metal surfaces the rough patches in the metal surfaces the rough patches in the metal surfaces they are in they do not interlock with each other therefore avoid the wear and tear second function of the lubricant is reduce reducing the loss of energy as heat now see generation of heat takes a lot of energy introduction of lubricant between two metal surfaces decreases the frictional heat generation therefore the it saves the energy and increases the machine efficiency third function of the lubricant is reducing the expansion of metal due to local frictional height now see when as discussed earlier that generation of frictional heat leads to high local temperature so a high local temperature is generated in this area when metals are attached are in contact with each other due to high local temperature metal expansion may takes place therefore it affects the machine working and which can be avoided by using the lubricant now fourth function of the lubricant is avoiding seizure of the moving surfaces due to welding junctions frictional heat when it frictional heat is produced due to lack of lubricant it causes very very high local temperature that a metal may melt and when it uh, this metal is somehow cooled down it results in welding of these metal parts and when these metal parts get welded the seizure of the metal movement takes place seizure of the metal movement means machinery stops working therefore the introduction of the lubricant avoids the seizure of the moving surfaces and machinery works properly the fifth function of the lubricant is reducing unsmoother relative motion of the sliding surfaces now the sliding surfaces may have unsmoother motion due to the roughness the lubricants fill these rough patches the when these fill these rough patches the metal are not in direct contact with each other therefore the motion which is relatively unsmoother becomes smoother after introduction of the lubricants last but not the least uh, function of the lubricant is reducing the maintenance and operating cost of the machines or instruments decreasing wear and tear and formation and frictional heat overall reduces the maintenance cost and running cost of the of the instrument so these uh, uh, these are the general functions of a lubricant which are expected which are expected from a, a general lubricant overall we can say that in the introduction of a lubricant between two sliding surfaces is extremely helpful for increasing the efficiency and long life of machine and instrument in the next video we will discuss about the mechanisms involved for lubrication thank you so much